Hey guys, NK Beauty here. Hope everybody's having a really good day. Today is not the usual uh, tutorial, but um, I just wanted to share with you guys how I made my nail polish stand. I don't know if you guys can ever see it in the background of my video, but I usually have my nail polishes laid out um, across on this shelf, and I decided to basically make a stand um, to put up on this shelf to hold my nail polishes. Um, the reason I decided to make this was because I had originally planned on buying a acrylic uh, stand to go on my wall, but they were like about 30 or 40 pounds and they would only hold about 50 polishes and I have a lot more than 50 polishes. As you can see, I have, I think I counted them last time and they were like 82 and that doesn't include the ones that were in the boxes now this shelf did not fit all of my polishes but what i done is i grabbed like all of my colored polishes and everything that i would usually use and put it on my stand and like doubles and stuff that i've got over here um i decided to keep in a box um somewhere else so when one thing runs out i'll just put another thing straight in by the way, the lighting in this video is very bad purely because I do not have my huge lighting equipment um, in at the moment. I just needed a clear space and my room is quite small so for them to be up and about uh, while I'm moving around and doing all of this, uh, it became quite a hassle so I had to remove them and put them away. So um, if you guys want to learn how to recreate or make this uh, stand or make a stand for your own, but by not using my, basically by using my methods, obviously not my measurements because you're not have, gonna have the exact same space that I do, um, then just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is measure your space. Now what I'm doing is actually measuring from top to bottom, then side to side, but as you can see, I actually have a, I guess a little wooden, piece right there that may be blocking the sides of it so uh, in order to cut the right measurements I had to measure the pieces from below that block and then above that block as well in order to create an even spacing. After that I just measured everything on my wood piece and cut them all out. This here is a wood piece I got from B&Q that is 2 inches wide. After cutting them, I just sanded them all down, just so that I have a very clean edge to work with. Now this is where my tricky part was. I had to then mark where my shelves were going to be, but because of that wooden block that I was talking about earlier, I had to measure it so that it was exactly in thirds, but from the larger measurement from top to bottom, rather than the measurement from under the wood pieces. Now this was going to give me even measurements throughout my shelving unit rather than below the wood piece, which would have made the top shelf the largest, which I didn't want. If you were as scared as I am using a nail gun, then grab your brother. <laughs> if you don't have a brother, then grab somebody that isn't scared to use it. Um, I did have a brother, so that is what I used. <laughs> Just put everything together, made the shelf. This part was pretty easy. Um, if I wasn't so scared of the loud noise, then it would have been a lot easier. After that, just grab your shelf and slot it into place. If you did take the measurements right, then this should literally just slot perfectly into place. Now I did have a bit of a gap, meaning I did need to do some adjusting, but we'll get into that a bit later. Then all you need to do is grab yourself a spirit level and make sure that your shelves are straight. Mine were perfect, so I didn't need to adjust it in any sort of way. Can we just take a minute? 
to just appreciate these chocolates from Ikea for just a second. Um, I don't even know. Oh wait, I just ripped off the edge. They are called... I don't even want to try and pronounce them. <laughs> but this is what they look like and that's like the edge of the... There. I can't even put it together. There. These are amazing. <laughs> They're just so random. They are so, oh, I can't even begin to explain. Just, mm-hmm. Then what you need to do is basically be really brave. <laughs> I then nail gunned everything or nailed everything to the wall um, in order for it to not move in place, basically. Be careful because it is really loud, so make sure that if you are working in a small space like I am, don't get too close to the nail gun because it will hurt your ears. Now this is the correcting and adjusting thing I was talking about earlier. I did grab some wood filler and make sure that all the nooks and crannies were filled. This is going to give you a more finished and more even look. It's really going to transform your shelving unit. After I made sure all the nails were in, I filled in where the nails were so that the nails don't actually show at all. At first I did use my finger to smooth everything out and push everything into the cracks, but after that I did grab a wet sponge and made sure everything was smooth and perfect. Now it's not going to be perfect unless you're really careful with this part. I wasn't so I did have to sand it later, but this definitely did reduce the amount of sanding that I had to do. And this is the sanding part. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, just keep sanding it until you feel like everything is smooth and perfect. After that, just grab yourself some paint. Now I made sure to match the colour to my shelving unit originally, so um, I literally just sprayed it. You don't have to use spray paint, you can use just normal emulsion paint or whatever paint that you have. Um, I wouldn't recommend using something like acrylic paint because acrylic paint can dry quite sticky, so it may stick to the bottom of your bottles. But yeah, I did do three coats of this and that is it. Then I just put all my nail polishes up there putting them in order i didn't put them in color order i did put them in brand order and funny enough not all of them fit so i did have to keep adjusting them until i thought it was correct And that is it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, comment and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you soon, bye!